I bought this RTL SDR blog V4 from a local VU ham French. It came with this user manual. Actually it was a kit with the dipole antenna for VHF and UHF. I will show that separately. There are protective coverings here, one for the SMAF connector and another for the USB port. USB port will have to be connected to the laptop or other computer and this will go to the antenna. Suppose you are having a PL259 connector at your antenna, you will need a adapter cable. User manual has some important information. The RTL SDR is a sensitive receive only device. There are SDRs which are transmit also. This one cannot transmit. This is more important. Do not use near strong transmitters. Maximum input is only plus 10 dBm. That is with respect to a milliwatt. It is normal for the metal body to feel hot as it acts as a heat sink. Permanently connected outdoor antennas, that is the antenna kit which I mentioned, must be protected against electrostatic discharge and lightning, that is there for all antennas. The information leaflet comes in multiple languages and there is more information on the reverse side also. The links on rtlsdr.com slash qst to, be to download and install the most up-to-date drivers and software from the internet. This is an RTLSDR blog version 4 model. Please ensure that you follow the correct information for the V4 model on the quick start guide as the V4 model requires specific driver instructions install instructions for information about the design and features of rtl sdr blog v4 please download from the corresponding url if you have a dipole antenna please check it on a different user guide now i have removed the protective coverings of uh, smaf connector and uh, usb connector and uh, you can see that there are something written on here this is the analog to digital converter